help. We're going to randomize each list seven times, starting with the owner name list. All right, lucky number seven. We're going to stack the list up side by side, and that's how you get your date. So here comes the date random. Now, if, it, if it's not a date that is shown or owned, it goes to random between everybody. So we'll determine that some of the best hits actually are from the 1800s. So some of the best hits are not going to be on. Lucky number seven. All right, so there's our two randoms. That's how things are looking right now for us. Okay, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we can get here. We'll start with number 11. You know, we'll go in some kind of order here. Come on, big hits. Big hit Boulevard. Ho, oh, big hit Boulevard. Bum, 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 bum. Hit number one out of the All American Edition graded coin break. Hit number one is. MS65 graded nickel from 1945. Oh, my. 1945. I don't think our years go back to that. The oldest I see is 1950. So this will go to random between everybody in the break. It is a P. And I think that means that it's minted in Pennsylvania. So this is about as fine as nickel as you'll ever see. MS-65. It's 
That is about as good a nickel as you'll ever see, my friend. All right, so that's 1945. Going to random. Next hit. Like everyone in the rip. What is this? Eighteen ninety two, and it is an Indian head penny AU fifty five BN. BN represents the color. So this is a this has got a special patina on it that is very desirable. So a very nice Indian head scent. No one has this year either. And in the back of this looks a lot like a wheat penny. If you've ever seen a wheat penny, that's that's kind of what the back of this looks like. It's hard to see on this camera. I think I could try and change some settings and stuff. Maybe. Like maybe it'll come in better. I don't know. It's kind of hard to play with it right now. But anyway, that's hit number two. Um, I was looking at it, um, uh, 1892, I don't see it on the chaser board, but it's a great hit. I mean, it's a cool hit and, um, it's just not listed as being a chaser hit, but sometimes they don't list it, list them and they're still very, very nice, valuable hits. Okay. So here we go with our very next coin. And the graded coin break. What's it gonna be? Oh, what's it gonna be? Treasure matey. That's what we're looking for. The very next graded coin is. Oh. Oh, look at this scent. Oh. So in, in 1943, it was wartime and things were scarce. Copper was being used in the manufacturing of a lot of wartime equipment. And this penny was made from a different material. So there's a big story behind these 1943 cents. And it's a very cool hit. Graded at an MS-64. And I believe we actually have three. Let's see who has 1964. 64 is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, it's 43. Okay. Okay, steel. Okay, it's a steel penny. Okay. So this is something to Wikipedia, if, and it's just really cool facts and everything. All three of these are not owned from our breaks. We're going to do a big random right now. And because I don't know the value, uh, I'm just going to go, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'd like to try to guess the values and stuff like that. I'm just going to go one, two, and three. And we're going to do a random. And we're going to see who gets matched up with these. So number one may not be the most valuable hit. Uh, I try to usually put number one most valuable, but I have no idea. 
Yeah, 67. That isn't the year. It's not. It's not 1967. It's 1945. 1943 and 1892. I, I think I said 65 by accident, but it's 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 the year is 45, 43, and 1892. So those are not owned. And let's go ahead and bring it up to the random seven times through. Remember, this is number one, the Indian head sent, number two, and number three. So you want your name to come up in one, two, or three to have a hit in the break. And I want to wish everybody good luck. Oh, you have a MS. You have a 67. Okay, I see what you're saying. Nice. That's cool. I think these are really neat. Um, all right, here we go. Seven times. Good luck, everybody. Seven times through. One, two, or three is going to hit. One, two, and three is going to hit. Lucky number... Seven. Stephen K, Rusty, and Cody. Congratulations. So you guys have just hit. Stephen K owns the Indian head penny from 1892. 1892, Rusty. As the steel penny from 43 and Cody has a 1945. So after all the randoming is done, these are the three owners here. Congratulations, uh, Stephen K with your 1892, Rusty with your 1943 and Cody with your 45. All right, that's our three cooling break. Uh, really cool hits coming out of there. That was a lot of fun, man. Those are cool.